Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. I have a few hours of fish before stuff like that gets really, really bad, which it's supposed to be on its way. It is just after sunrise right now. I'm over here on the east bank. Look at this spot, really nice. Kind of tight, but not too bad. First things first, just like yesterday when I was over here, this is a different spot though. We are throwing big baits. Well, as big as I have them, that is a skipjack right there on a 10 knot using steel leader today, three ounces of lead, 80 pound braid, a 10 foot Daiwa beef stick with a big old pin reel bait runner. And as usual, when I like to come over here, I bring other rods as well for white bass, skipjack, whatever else I may catch on artificials. I have four of those there, a different array of things. Oh, I trimmed a tree, but I didn't trim my bait off. Well, that shortened my cast by a little bit, but that's fine because you don't have to cast too far here to be in deep water. This is actually a deeper hole than I was fishing yesterday. We're in a bend haven't hit bottom there we hit bottom right there what's interesting about this particular spot is i am staring up river at the rod so the bait is not going to drift downstream like in a lot of spots there is a back current here it's kind of an eddy that bait's actually going to start drifting up river here i've caught nice fish here before and i've already seen some rolling and feeding right off here there are, I think, other species coming through here, so we're going to see what we can get. Sabiki time. Maybe fresh bait would be good because this is yesterday's bait. It's been sitting in the refrigerator overnight. Oh, there's a... Oh, shoot. Gotcha, finally. Hopefully we don't snag up that sabiki out there. Finally. This is a cat too. He's pirouetting like one. I wonder what we got. I wonder if it's a massive gaff top. There's a lot of that in the river right now, of course. Oh. We lost it. Did we? Are you gone? Yep, came off. That was fighting like a gaff top, so that's probably what that was. Oh, ho, ho, yes. Look at this. Ladyfish. Oh, don't. Yes, we have life bait now. Nice. Ooh, calm down. I am not going to do a power cast with this. We're just going to do a nice. There we go. Does not have to be far. It's going to be deep water anyway, but there are big fish coming in as close as that. Hitting stuff. We're not even on the bottom yet should be soon still still sinking yep we're on the bottom right there so you don't have to do a big long cast here that's good even a live ladyfish or a soft bait if i would have done some he-man power cast i would have probably lost it there we go we got one what we got skipjack that time nice Oh no, it's not. It's a ladyfish again. I'm sorry, guys. There is a lot of ladyfish right off these rocks right here. They're pretty thick. I've lost a few already. Oh, there we go. There's one. Stay on. Oh, that's a white bass. There we go. What we got this time? Another ladyfish? Yep. We gotta get this ladyfish off because I think something is going on with the live one. I do have the live, the uh, bait runner engaged here. These are actually good bait. And we got two fresh ones now. 
All right, so we just had a ship go by and we're still getting that bite. See the rod tip just barely shaking and bending. I don't think that's from him changing the dynamics of the current right now. I think we might have something on. He's picked up the bait and he's moving it. You see that line reorientating coming this way down river a little bit? I'm hoping this is a fish and that I'm not getting fooled by the ship. See my rod tip go down like crazy? Oh, yes. Here we go. Man, I didn't think he was there. I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. Oh. We put out a live ladyfish and we brought back this. Oh, and he's still, look at that. Look at that. He's still alive. Kinda. My goodness. I just threw that right back out there. Even though I might have a live one still, I'm gonna put that right back out because I got other things to do. That was either a gar or a bull shark. I'm going to say bull shark. Another live one. Barely alive. Hook him right back behind there. This is a crew boat that just went by real close. I want to see, you see how far it's going to come up in here. The river is coming up right now. Over the next few days, several days, it's going to come up to just under five feet. That wasn't bad. It is now just after eight o'clock and I'm getting a bite on this live bait. This has been interesting so far, but not 100% successful. I've been here for maybe since just before 7 a.m. So I haven't been here that long. I probably got on this side of the river around 6.30. But I mean, when I mean, yeah, no, I haven't. I've been out in the water since 7 a.m. I would say. Oh, I've had a bait out since 7. And I need to... I can't stay over here all morning. So something needs to happen. Oh, something is with the live bait, but it's not serious yet. I do not have the bait runner engaged. I wanna let him take his time. I want a serious bend, something about almost like this. Let's see. We gotcha. Stay on. I'm bringing this fish over a steep drop off. I've lost a few like this already this morning, I think. I don't, I don't know if there's a fish here at the moment because I just feel the drop off. I don't feel him fighting back again. Same thing. Oh, here we go. Gotcha. <laughs> we snagged us a lady fish. Let's try this again. I'm gonna try this weedless spoon over there where we were catching that stuff. Oh, we're getting hit again, right off. They love these live ladyfish. I'm just gonna slow down here, get this spoon in. Put it away. Got us a slack line. Oh, he just took up our slack line. Come on. There we go. Finally, stay on. This could be a gar. Oh. He's tight up against this drop off. He's coming out away from it. Oh, yes. This is a bull shark.
Yeah. So I think we were uh, losing bull shark Angar this morning, and maybe we were getting some hits from smaller uh, gaff top. It's a little bit bigger. I'm gonna use the net this time because it's gonna be easier. Bigger of a bull shark than yesterday. Not too much bigger, but a little bit. They always want to walk. You're trying to walk, walk away. You ain't walking anywhere, buddy. All right, guys. Yeah, you're right. I had a feeling we were going to get one of these today. Pretty cool. Little bull shark pup. Awesome. Don't bite the camera. Nice. I want to get another live bait, but we have a visitor over here. I want to see how close we can get before he disappears. Oh, there he goes. I am not having luck getting another live bait, so we're just going to fish what I have, which is good. See it? It's happening. Get another bite. Hopefully it's not another small gaff top. It's just got the hook wedged in its mouth and not actually hooked up. I think that's what's going on while I'm losing fish. It's just fish that are undersized for what I'm fishing with. It, it is a 10 knot. A good thing with these hooks is you can set them. I don't think that worked though. Oh, we might have a fish, yes. Be nice and easy this time. He's still there, he's still shaking. I'm gonna bring him up slow because I don't want to lose another one right here, right in front of me. Kicking a little bit right there. Oh, got a little power. I like flipped the switch. It didn't feel like a big fish till right then. Come on, don't come off right there. That is a good drop off right there. And I don't know what he's coming up against that causes them to come off. Or if it is, like I said, the, they're not necessarily hooked up. That hook is just, the hook and the bait is just stuck in their mouth. But there we go. That is what we call a massive gaff top. <laughs> that is massive. These fish fight hard for the size but that's not what we're here for today. I would say that most of this session was gaff top bites, especially the last bit after that first gaff top I got in. Yeah, you're right guys, it is now 10 o'clock and as you can see, something's happening. So I gotta get out of here and just let it happen, but not while I'm out here. All right guys, thanks for watching, liking, sharing and subscribing and I will see you next time.